read uh, Numbers, the 14th chapter, the 18th verse. The Most High is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. That's right. Most, ain't nobody getting away with nothing. Say, so visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Now go back to uh, Isaiah. Forty-seven. One. Yeah. Isaiah chapter forty-seven, verse one. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Say, so sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. B. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Read. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Because the Most High is telling them. He's taking them out of power. It's prophecy. Go ahead. But thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. That's right, let you know they're being exposed, mm. completely exposed for all the wickedness that they're doing, Read. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yeah, thy shame shall be seen. And all the wickedness that we see that's happening right now, especially, you know, to the children, you know, I mean, it's like they're exposed to so much and it's like they're having it so that they accept it. And the Most High is looking down upon this. That's why he said, we got to expose it. It's like that video, exposed. Yep. Get out Jeremiah 1 and 10. Hold that, get Jeremiah 1 and 10. What he told Jeremiah, we got to do the same thing. Whether they hear or they forbear. Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. That's right. And that's what we have to do. We got to perform all those works as the Most High said. We got to build Israel up and we got to plant this seed of the Most High's word in our people's ears so they can understand that we got something promised to us. Beautiful, beautiful kingdom that we can't even imagine is so beautiful. Beyond our imagination. Back to uh, Isaiah 47 and 3. Isaiah 47 and 3. Thy naked shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. He said he's going to take vengeance, and he's not coming back as a man. He's coming back in his angelic spiritual power. Go ahead. As for our redeemer, the power of the Most High power of hosts is his name. That's right. For our redeemer, the Most High Wah Mashiach Yahweh the power of hosts, power of angels. Hosts mean angels. Power of angels is his name. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Read. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Jeremiah 23 and 5. The Holy One of Israel. This is our power. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 5. Behold, the days come, said the Most High. That I will raise unto David a righteous branch. So he's going to raise up to King David, who was of the tribe of Judah, a righteous branch. Read. And a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. That's right. 
Mashiach Kabbalah will execute judgment and justice in the earth. Read. In his day, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. In his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. Dealing with the northern tribes and the southern tribes. Israel is the northern tribes, Judah represents the southern tribes. Read. And this is his name whereby he shall be called. This is his name by where whereby he must be called. What is it? The power of our righteousness. That's right. Power of righteousness. Our righteousness. Read. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Most High, that they shall no more be, that they shall no more say, the Hamashikam shall live, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, he said, Mashiach Yahweh Shai Levit that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. That's correct because remember he was leading us in a cloud in the day in a fiery pillow of a chariot by night. It was a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Get that in 1 Corinthians uh, get right to the point, verse 4. 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. It was him. It was a Mashiach Yahweh Shai that was leading us. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 and did all drink that this the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Hamashiach Yahushua see that was him go back to Jeremiah 23 and 7 Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 7 Therefore behold the days come said the Most High that they shall no more say Hamashiach Yahushai liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt Right They're not going to be saying the Most High Hamashiach Yahushai liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt What they're going to be saying because you know all 12 tribes came out of Egyptian captivity and once we came out of Egypt in captivity, once uh, King Solomon did what he did, the kingdom was split. Then Jeroboam made two calves. See, this is who brought us out of Egypt, right? So the Most High took the northern tribes and just she kicked them out. Came to the Assyrians for all them years, and they came over here. You know, plus they went to all the different lands that they were scattered in. So it's not going to be said, and that's the only time that you know we, we went to captivity together under that. The, the Egyptians and you know, all 12 tribes. They're going to be saying that no more. But they're going to say what? And it's very key right here, read. But Hamashiach was side limit, which brought up, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all countries whether I had driven them. See? We're gonna, they're going to be saying Hamashiach is going to bring us out of the North Country, North America, North, this Western Hemisphere, and from all the countries where he has scattered us. That's what they're going to be saying. And how are they going to be saying it? To the men, to the men that the Most High have bring you forth this truth in these last days. So we the one that's saying it. And you have some that say, oh, no, you got to leave America. Well, what North country are you going to be mainly coming out of if it ain't over here in North America? Where, 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 what other country can you go to where the majority of the people are dropping this truth? As Judah is right here in America. Where? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. So all the leaders leave America. And we go wherever we're going to go. Be scattered, whatever. Can this scripture still be true? No. He said you're going to gather us from the north country. The north country. And from all the lands where we've been scattered. But who's going who gonna, who gonna to lead the sheep if everybody leaves? See, our job is like Paul's, pretty much. Deal with Israel that don't know. But they're going to wake up. 
Because the Mosai going, he going, he going to snap, slap, he going to slap him real hard. Make him wake up. Our family members, our friends, our associates, they got some, he got to do something. He always does something to make us cry to him. To make us cry to him. Sad to say, but that's, that's just the end result as it is written. Every single time. Until we realize that we have a power, the most high. And he's nobody power but ours. But we always look out for somebody else, not even looking out for ourselves. And the way we look out for ourselves is so terrible. I mean, it's like, how are you gonna gather, how are you gonna gather you when you don't even want to be gathered yourself? We the only people that look out for somebody else. Nobody else ever say. What about us? I said, well, two-thirds of our people are going to be put to death. Nobody say they care about that. Nobody ever. But you say something about them and their judgment, and you say they go crazy. They go crazy. Just like they went crazy when my shakar was shy was bringing it to them in a real way. Psalms 89th chapter. Oh yeah, it's on. Ain't nothing they can do to stop it. I will sing of the mercies of the Most High forever. With my mouth will I make known by thy faithfulness of all generations. For I have said, mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. He told David that his seed, David of the tribe of Judah, who was so much like i to tell you in Hebrews 7 and 14, for it is evident our power sprang out of Judah. And the heavens shall praise thy wonders, O Most High, thy faithfulness also in the congregation of the saints, for whom in the heaven can be compared unto the Most High, who among the sons of the mighty can be likened unto the Most High. The Most High is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. The Most High is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to, and to be had in reference of all them that are about him. O Most High, power of angels, power of hosts, who is a strong power like unto thee, or to thy faithfulness round about thee? Thou ruleth in raging, the raging of the sea, when the waves thereof arise, thou stillest them. Thou hast broken Rabah, Rahab in pieces, as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thine enemies with thy strong arm. The heavens are dying, the, the earth also is dying. As for the world and the fullness thereof, thou hast founded them. The north and the south, thou hast created them. Tobar and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thou hast a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Who is that right hand? Amasiyat, Yahweh Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Most High, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor are our horn power shall be exalted. And thou art the glory of their strength, and in thy favor and your favor our horn shall be exalted. Our power shall be exalted. For the most high, we're in Psalms 89. Verse 18. For the most high is our defense. And the Holy One of Israel is our king. Then thou spakest in vision to thy Holy One. And said, I have laid help. Upon one that is mighty, I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil, have I anointed him. 
with whom my hand shall be exalted, shall be established. Verse 21. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes, that's his enemies, before his face, and plague them that hate him. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And in my name shall his horn and his power be exalted. In my name shall his power be exalted. Who's David's power? Psalms, hold that, get Psalms 110 and 1. In the name of the Most High shall his power be exalted. I'm going to read it like it's written. The Lord said unto my Lord, that's two lords there, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Now that's where Mashiach Kelshah is at on the right hand side of the most high. But and he is David's horn of David's power. Hamashiach Kelshah. The Lord said unto my Lord, see? One Lord is with all capital letters, one is with a capital letter the little. Little letters after the L. See that? So that representing Hamashiach Kelshah. Get Acts 2 30 to 34. Verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that the Most High hath made that same Hamashiach Shai, whom ye have crucified, both power and Mashiach. Right, so it says Lord there. So sometimes you see Lord is represented Mashiach Kelvashai. Sometimes you see it, it represents the Most High. Sometimes you see it represents the Most High and a Mashiach Kelvashai. But the Most High has made him Lord and Mashiach, the Anointed, the Messiah. So going back to uh, Psalms uh, 89. Read verse 24. Psalm chapter 89, verse 24. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him. And and Mashiach Shai Shall his horn be exalted? Right. And David's power is Mashiach Kelvashah. And the Most High has exalted Mashiach Kelvashah. Get Philippians 2 and 9. Shall he be exalted? Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. Wherefore the most high also highly sorry, wherefore the most high also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Do what the most high has done. Go back to Psalms 89. 